Hi, my name's Andy. I've got 20 years of TV experience and I'm massively f***ed off with GoPro. This is the sound from the Osmo Action. So I would say that works pretty well. Let's drive. So just a little bit about me. I'm a video editor. I've been editing for 20 years. I edit all sorts of stuff. Recently, I've been doing lots of natural history, uh, lots of uh, expedition-y type stuff, which is really exciting. So I've been watching um, people using and abusing action cameras. And on the most part, the last one I just did, uh, they were using GoPro Hero 7 Blacks. The image stabilization that I was watching on my screen in the edit suite was just astounding. So I haven't owned a GoPro in like five years and it was pretty good. It was 1080, it was waterproof because it was in a case. I go canoeing. What's this island called? Goat Island. You know, my son jumps into the sea regularly. We go paddle boarding. An action camera is the perfect thing because you can just chuck it in the boat and forget about it. But in watching all the YouTube videos, I see that GoPro's now got competition with the Osmo Action. The specs are similar, the design is similar. There are people who love the GoPro and there are people who are singing the praises of the Osmo Action. But because I'd owned a GoPro before and because I got quite a few accessories. I know they work on the Osmo Action, but I know GoPro. So I decided not to go for the Gen 1 Osmo Action and invest in a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Got a good deal. I paid £349 for it. And uh, the next day, shot a little bit of stuff, went to the mall with the kids and, and wandered around and got used to the features and just, just noodled about with it. I was absolutely blown away. The footage is stunning. It's an action camera, it's a tiny little thing. The amount of stuff they packed into that camera is absolutely astounding. I even shot a whole video about whether I could just use the GoPro instead of my big DSLR kit that I'm using right now. I'm using the GoPro and it's raining. I would never get my DSLR out if it was raining. Bought some spare batteries. I'm on my second GoPro battery because I think I've been let down by the voice commands. I think it switched on and I didn't notice. Bought two memory cards. I was off. It's an amazing little camera. Well, here we all are in the car and we are heading to the campsite. We're an hour and 10 minutes away and we just passed into Devon. We just got the tent up and it started to rain. The image stabilization is astounding. The fact that you can do 4K at a load of different frame rates. So we took it to the beach. It does slow-mo really nicely. I was really impressed. I dipped it in a few rock pools. I filmed the sights. I did all that sort of normal family stuff. So we're approaching Agatha Christie's house. I, I got hit in the head by a tent. Oh, it's collapsed. All these guy ropes at the end snapped. Wow! Let's go somewhere else. The only thing that let it down, as with any action camera, and I, and I was expecting it, was the audio. Too windy. This audio is going to be terrible. It was good when there wasn't any wind. Bad crab. <laughs> <laughs> it got rained on a couple of times. It's a bit rainy now. It went on a couple of boat trips. 
it never really got like totally as wet as I would like it to get. So we've left the campsite because it's very windy and rainy tonight and um, we are now slumming it in this horrible place. So my wife and two of my kids went away to see their grandparents and my eldest son and I decided to go canoeing. So I gave him my old Ion torpedo of an action camera. He's got my old Ion Air Pro on there, 1080, 50p. And he's paddling along with it, with it attached to his oar. And it was a really good day. It was sunny, it was beautiful, and I had my GoPro with me. So I brought the Tahiti Plus today to the Cotswolds Water Park. Lake 32, it's absolutely beautiful. So I bought all the mounts with me, uh, a clip mount that I could put it on my head, uh, I put a paddle mount, you know, a handlebar mount, which meant I could mount it to the paddle, and I had it all. I had, had this thing as well, so I could record good audio. So here we are on Lake 32, doing an audio test on a GoPro that's attached to a paddle. Just your normal Saturday. So I was, I was experimenting and excited. So when I paddle, obviously the camera moves a bit like this. Film's on the paddleboard. We were set. We had it covered multiple cameras and I had my GoPro and it was gonna get proper, a proper, proper dunking. And then this happened. Right. Oh, that is weird. What the hell is that? What is it? What is that? Oh, it's steaming up. A GoPro steaming up. That's not good. Steaming up though would suggest water ingress. You can hear in my voice there that I, I, I don't believe what I'm seeing. I, I'd been gentle with this camera. I'd, I'd looked after it, I'd checked the, the seals and it was fogging up on a sunny day, paddling about in an inflatable kayak. I'm massively disappointed. <laughs> Seeing that fog in that lens really did upset me. I mean, that is foggy. <laughs> I, I tried to have fun, but really there was this nagging annoyance that I just paid for something called a GoPro and it's failed. And I've, I've edited loads of TV shows where people have done such extreme things to those cameras and they've survived that I knew GoPro wouldn't let me down and it did. So I took it back to Argos and they gave me a refund on the spot. So I've been let down by GoPro massively. So I'm now gonna buy an Osmo Action. So I've just picked up a Osmo Action, an Osmo Action? I've just picked up an Osmo Action uh, from my local shop and now it's charging in the car and then we're gonna take it to the same lake that killed my GoPro. Well, here we are on the water, the same lake that actually killed my GoPro, but I'm pleased to report I've dunked the Osmo Action and it has survived. I'm looking at myself from the front facing screen and I'm very happy. 4K, 50, stabilized. Now to row to shore. It's behaving like an action cam should. It's uh, looking beautiful. I haven't had a real big fiddle around with the settings yet but I'm liking the front screen. And I've got to say I've filmed a lot more on the Osmo Action than I have ever done on a GoPro on one battery. Battery on this is amazing. Why is it still charged? Yeah I've been filming like all day. Wow. How you can that go doing? I think you're getting a lot better battery life. I've even let my daughter take it out and she's got some crazy footage of her and a friend on the paddleboard. And uh, yeah, enjoying it. So, uh, sorry GoPro. It's been about three weeks 
since I recorded the first bit of this video and I've been filming with the Osmo Action out and about and I've got to say I'm massively impressed with this little action camera. So today we're based on the land but I just thought I'd take the Osmo Action out again. It's a beautiful blue sky, see? Just having a little bit of a walk around the Cotswolds Water Park. This is the sound from the Osmo Action. Not very much wind so it should be fine. It's been getting some great shots for me. It's stabilization is amazing. The battery life is just constantly astounding me. The front screen, very useful. The only accessory I've bought uh, well, I've bought a couple of things. Um, I've bought this silicon lens cap and I've bought two spare batteries just in case I'm out for the whole day and I need more. You can also film in portrait mode. I'm massively impressed with it. It's on a, a backpack clip at the moment, which uh, I, I got for the GoPro. It clips onto everything, even clips onto my dashboard in the car, giving me shots like this. Let's go. The slight niggles that I've had with it are that sometimes the voice commands don't work 100%. So voice command, meh. It does actually work better for me if I put on a slight American accent. So I just started this recording, just then. You won't have seen it because it wasn't recording and then I said start recording and it started recording. And now it's recording. Switching screens can be a little bit fiddly but there's two ways of doing that. You can either use the voice commands or you can double tap the back of the screen with, with two fingers. Uh, so there's always a way around things. Hello, I can see myself in the front screen, it's really good. Uh, it doesn't screen switch if you're recording. Those are the only couple of little trip hazards that I've come across when using this camera. That's great, not fogging up either. So in summary, I'm really impressed by this little action camera, uh, 4K stabilized video in a small form factor. The obvious things, the few little letdowns are that the audio quality on some occasions leaves a little bit to be desired. So it's probably windy here. But I think I've found a way around that and that's gonna be my next video. Got the lav mic on going into the Tascam DR10L and it is quite windy. So hopefully this is doing the trick. So all in all, I'm pretty glad that the GoPro did fail really because I don't think otherwise I would have tried another brand of action camera. Those are my thoughts and uh, there'll be more videos coming along shortly. So if you have been, thanks for watching. Stop recording.